The snow seems vast, even endless, and yet scientists tell us that somewhere, even now, there is a desert. Welcome to Snowvale. Today in a tragic unscheduled accident, a plane crashed after entering the airspace over Snowvale. All 17 passengers were killed in the crash, all except for one man who managed to remain uninjured. When questioned by police on his survival, since as all of you know is illegal, he merely stated that he is a main character in some novel, and therefore exempt from physics. Breaking News a new snowmaker has appeared near the elementary school. It's about 10 feet taller than the other snowmaker that appeared last week, and has remained behind the post office ever since. No one has claimed responsibility for the snowmaker, or the other one for that matter. The only good news is that so far, it doesn't seem to be making any snow at the moment. Scientists are now saying that studies that show our reality make less sense than originally thought. Now. This isn't to say that reality ever did make sense. I mean, how do wires always manage to get tangled up when not moving? What's up with that? But scientists say the study shows that the entire story that contains our existence, our reality itself, has so many plot holes and continuality errors in it that the ratings are starting to go down from the celestial beings who review these stories. And our writer should consider getting a new editor, since the current one obviously isn't doing their job. More on that snowmaker that appeared outside the school. The snowmaker has started to make snow. The snow produced does not seem overly threatening, but it is quite inconvenient. The school has been completely engulfed by snow. Police don't seem to be doing anything about this yet. But I'm told that small groups of children are starting to gather around the snowmaker and dare each other to lick it. City Council would like to remind all parents about what happened last time someone licked a snowmaker, but not to directly state what happened. But you all remember what happened. You know, while we're on the topic of snow, I think this would be a great time to talk about snow safety. Snow is a very dangerous thing, so let's just refresh our memories about the basics. You are not to eat the yellow snow. Yellow snow is highly sulfuric and emits small amounts of radiation. If you see yellow snow, contact police immediately. White snow. This type of snow is known to cling to bodies and leach out all heat. It's very pesky to get rid of, and if let into your home, can cause an infestation. Make sure to wear anti-snow units when outdoors at all times to help reduce your risk. Red snow. Red snow usually smells faintly of cherry, and if it doesn't smell faintly of cherry, run. Run away as fast as you can. Green snow. No one quite knows what the snow does, as all scientists that have tried to study it suddenly started glowing, and then decided to move to the Bahamas. Proper knowledge of these types of snow is key to a healthy lifestyle and increases your survival rate in snow veil by a whopping 5%. And now, a word from our sponsor. Someday you will die, and your existence will be forgotten. Your place will be taken by another who will also die and their place filled. All you are, and will be, and have been will cease to matter. You're going to die anyway, so why not pick up a coffin today? It's always better to be prepared, and you get $5 off for every dead body you bring in, today only. So visit the coffin shop today, or else. This is a reminder that this Saturday will be our second annual breathing day where citizens are encouraged to breathe outside for short amounts of time. This was a last-minute decision to continue with the, by the city council, despite last year's breathing day horrible results. I am to remind everyone that you are not to breathe in for more than four minutes at a time. It is very rude and also concerns doctors. Despite the hundreds of casualties that were reported last year for exposure to poisonous gases and exposure to cold, I am assured that this year's event will be significantly less lethal. 
I am also being told that this year's event did not ever take place, and that I should stop talking about this right now. This just in. One child has licked the snowmaker. Live sources from the snowmaker say that all children are pointing and laughing at the one stuck to the snowmaker, and the child stuck there has stated that it tastes like cheese, although it was very hard to hear what he was trying to say, since his tongue is stuck. We actually have no clue what he said, but my source assures me he definitely said cheese. And now, traffic. Traffic has been fairly non-existent today, since roads are covered in over five feet of snow. In fact, no one can actually say for sure where the roads are. We've always just kind of guessed. There could actually be no roads at all. In fact, why would you be driving on five feet of snow? Why do we even need cars? No one even uses these roads. What even is traffic? I just made up this word today. If there ever was a thing called traffic, I would hope that people would drive safely, whatever that means. And now, the weather. Got this morning hat, to go. Open the door and scream, no, 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 it's no. Please say it isn't so. Cause in case you didn't know, I hate the friggin' snow. Shuffled all day, my whole body's in pain. The very next morning it was back again. No, 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 no. Feel like an Eskimo. Just letting you know, I hate the friggin' snow. Don't like driving when the ground is white. A slipping and a sliding sure gives me a fright. Stuck inside my house, it's such a bummer Gonna sell my car and buy me a Hummer So come on Lord and give me a break Gonna lose my mind if I see another flake Oh no, no, no All the snow has gotta go Cause in case you didn't know I hate the friggin' snow So listen Lord getting word that the snowmaker has melted away. Yes, it melted. There is no sign of the child who has had his tongue stuck to the snowmaker, but all the snow that the snowmaker produced has also disappeared. In its place, the snowmaker has left a single snowflake that refuses to melt or merge with other snowflakes. Actually, it seems to be repelling all of their snowflakes away from itself to about a five-foot diameter. Ladies and gentlemen, this means that we are now able to see the ground. This is very exciting news. Oh, hold on. I'm getting reports that underneath the snow, there's a void. Now, maybe it's just in this particular spot on the ground, but I'm getting reports that this void contains nothing but a single snowflake. The school has decided to place a glass dome around this area to preserve this amazing piece of our town's history, and so the children will stop trying to jump into the void. City Council would like to remind everyone that due to recent events, the following things will be deemed illegal. Boiling pots of acid, organic tomatoes, wearing more than three human skin suits at one time, exercise of any kind, acknowledging the existence of cats, poetry, excess blinking, and free will. We apologize for any inconvenience. Anyone caught breaking any of these new rules will be threatened profusely. Now, I would like to take a moment to say this. You know what? You're lovely. And lovely people never stop being lovely. Unless you have a momentary lapse of judgment and kill 20 people. But it was only momentary. So even then, you're still lovely. Except now you're in jail with blood on your hands. But it's all good, because you're lovely. Well, that's all the oxygen station management is willing to supply me with today. So if you have not already frozen to death while listening to this broadcast, then I congratulate you on once again beating the very unlikely odd of continuous existence.
I hope you will continue to exist and tune in next time. Until then, Snowvale, good night.